welcome to Kotilya. Now we will proceed to Telangana current affairs. So already we have completed the um, regular current affairs feature where we have seen each and every week news. There we have seen international, national, bilateral, economy, science and technology, sports, awards, persons in news. We uh, there we have seen week wise. Now the state current affairs we will our approach will be month wise because the geographical area of a month is very small so uh, we don't require to do in, in a week basis moreover it is uh, very difficult to get the news in, in a particular week so covering the month news is of the most important here right now we'll start ITC Ocean in Telangana. It's a oceanography institute. It trains in uh, training uh, uh, from the students various countries. That means more or less it's a world training center. You can say this is a world training center where it was established. It established in the premises of INCOIS. What is this INCOIS? Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services. So after the tsunami in 2004-2005 the INCOIS was established as a early warning system now here it is not there then right now Union Minister for Science Technology is Y.S. Chaudhary okay so he is, he is the not cabinet minister is a, right the Union Minister for Science and Technology Y.S. Chaudhary on 4th January laid the foundation stone for international training for operational oceanography at the SO Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services Hyderabad simply we have to remember international training center for operational oceanography is established in which of the following state Telangana and in which of the following area the international training center for operational oceanography was established hyderabad so in which premises incois premises what is incois incois is international sorry indian national center for ocean information services what it will do it is an early tsunami warning system in the same premises so already one uh, establishment is there if in the same establishment if other is established it would help to do the research in a very easy and systematic way now this is a world training center across the world from various parts of the world anyone can visit and they can take the course the the union minister for science and technology ys Chaudhary, on 4th january laid foundation stone for international training center for operational oceanography at the so indian national center for ocean information services hyderabad <coughs> The new building expected to be ready in 18 months will impart training parts from all over the world. In how many months it will be completed, they won't ask. Simply they will focus in which area it is located. Next, Telangana CM dedicates Kakatiya Dharmal Plant Stage 2. So, one importance is there for this particular project. W what is the important this is the first major project that had been adopted after formation of telangana state hence it is very very important telangana chief minister kcr on january 5th dedicated the 600 megawatt kakadiya dharmal power plant stage 2 at bhopalapalli in Warangal district of the state <coughs> so where is 600 megawatt kakadiya dharmal power plant stage 2 located Warangal where in Warangal, Bhupalapalli, since it is a uh, state level examination, they may even focus on the micro area, that is the area where actual the uh, project is located. If it is a national level examination, then they, wo they won't go so deep that they will ask even the uh, areas like Bhupalapalli, they will strictly um, limit themselves in asking questions as far as a state or at least at the district level. Now, here Bhupalapalli in Warangal, district of the state. This is the first major power plant to be commissioned after the formation of new state of Telangana. As I said, you, this is the first major power plant. So, they will focus on this one. Which of the following is the first major power plant was commissioned after the formation of Telangana. This is one way. Second one, in which of the following place, the uh, major power 
major project was commissioned after the formation of Telangana. It is Bhupalapalli. Bhupalapalli in Telangana or in Warangal district. This is very very important. India's largest textile park to come up in Warangal. So officially it was declared by the Chief, uh, Chief Minister of State K. Chandrasekhar Rao. India's largest textile park will come up in Telangana's Warangal town. Chief Minister K. K. Chandrasekhar Rao announced in January 2016. He announced the formation of a special development authority for development of Warangal. Now who will lead this? The collector will lead this. The special development authority was formed to develop Warangal. Why Warangal has gained very importance? Because it is the largest city after the capital city Hyderabad in Telangana. The second largest and the most important city is Warangal. To develop Warangal, the um, special development authority was established. Who will lead this special development authority? The collector of Warangal will lead the special development authority. Now, the Warangal has been selected under Smart Cities project already by the central government. Every year, Warangal will be allocated Rs. 300 crore in the budget. Th these are the promises that were given by the Chief Minister. The, a total of Rs. 3000 crore is expected to be provided under all schemes. A multi-specialty hospital, multi-storied buildings for offices of municipal corporation, district collector, police commissioner, development of theme park and convention center were other, other announcements made by the chief minister. So, all these will be given to the Warangal, Warangal town. <coughs> Horticulture University in Mulugu, where the Mulugu is in Gajwel Mandal, where Gajwel Mandal is in Medak district. So, there a horticulture university was found uh, will be established the telangana chief sir ksr on january 7th laid foundation for construction of kunda lakshman babuji horticulture university at mulugu in medak district now this is very very important kunda lakshman babuji horticulture university is located in which are the following place mulugu they, la, they don't ask district this time they directly focus exact place where it is located mulugu you have to remember it is in gajwel mandal so, they may not focus in that on the district. So, Telangana Chief Minister KCR and General Assembly laid foundation for construction of Konda Lakshman Babuji Articles University at Mulugu in Medak district. The expenditure for this project is 1823 crore. Next, in the same place, Forest College is being established. So, rupees 50 crore sanctioned for this. Rupees 50 crore only. <coughs> rupees 50 crore sanctioned for this. So, this, this will be the second college in South India. The first college is in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu is the first college. It is the second college that is going to be established in Mulugu. The expenditure for this is rupees 50 crore. And another one, this Konda Lakshman Bapuji Articles University is in Mulugu. And it, its expenditure is 1823 crore. Next free intermediate education in Telangana. So, it started in which of the following uh, financial uh, uh, academic year they will ask. So, 2015-16 academic year. From 2015-16 academic year, free intermediate education in all government colleges across Telangana state was declared by the state government. The government has implemented free intermediate education in Telangana for all government colleges from coming academic year that is 2015-16. At present, there are 402 government junior colleges functioning in the state. 402 government junior colleges functioning in the state. 1,15,111 students study intermediate education in government junior colleges in the state in the academic year 2014-15, out of which nearly 80% of the students are from weaker sections such as SCST, BC and minorities. You need not to remember all these figures. So, here intermediate education is being offered free. Okay, from which academic year onwards, 2015-16 academic year onwards. Third, how many colleges are there? 402 colleges are there. That's all. These are the only three important points you need to focus. Next, Mahabhum Nagar to have skill training center. 
So Mahabuna district which was so far considered to be a district with the highest skill gap will soon have a skill development training center. Now, which country is helping to establish this training center? Australia. <coughs> An Australian company has come forward to set up a skill development training center at Kottur. The company will enter into pact with Telangana state government and will begin from April 2016. So, Australia helping. So, how they will ask question? With which are the following, with the help of which are the following country, a skill development training center will be established in Telangana, in, in Mahabuna district. That is Australia, with the help of Australia. Yes, Telangana becomes first state to make gender education compulsory. Now, at the graduate level, at the graduate level, Telangana state made the gender education compulsory. That means they have to go through the importance of equality, equal genders and uh, in, in many stories. So, here you can see two words, a world of equals. This is the same book that they have at the graduation level. So, actually it is the UGC's decision to uh, have the gender education. But as of now, no state has complete uh, or came with the task or completed this uh, task of providing uh, or making the compulsory educa gender education at the graduate level. This is Telangana is the first state to do so. Telangana has become the first state to introduce compulsory gender education at the graduate level. Without repeating gender stereotypes in the bilingual textbook titled Towards a World of Equals. What does it mean? It means in this book, the whatever the content is there, it is not a repeated content. It is a fresh content developed by the, uh, uh, the syllabus committee of JNTU. So, they each and every student will read this book. And it is to promote the e gender equality and uh, uh, emancipation is there or emphasizing is there on women, the problems of women. And the surprising thing is here it will not have any uh, repeated stories. It is completely innovative one and a new one. So, Telangana is the first state to do so towards a world of equals. The book introduced on a pilot basis in the engineering colleges are filtered to have JNTU discusses gender in its composite form without limiting itself to crime women so it, it means that it not only discussed the crimes uh, so how to control these crimes how the thinking should be and all angles of women problems and all angles of solutions are discussed in the book now, telangana launched e vahan bhima scheme the government of Telangana on 2nd January 2016 launched the E-Vahan Bhima scheme to issue motor insurance policy in digital form. So, insurance policy that you will get in the form of digital right now. With the launch of this scheme, Telangana became the first state in the country to legally accept motor vehicle insurance policy in digital form. Now, already we have seen one first already. What is that? The, first. the Telangana is the first state to introduce gender education at the graduate level. Next, the Telangana is the first state to introduce a digital form of certificates for the vehicle insurance. So, these two are very, very important. Okay, since they are attached with the first superlatives, they are attached with the first, they are very, very important. Angle 2. Now, related to education, how they may relate, co correlate the education news. Telangana is the first state to introduce uh, the gender education at the graduate level. Next, Telangana government has declared free education uh, at intermediate level from 2015-16 onwards. Two statements. Now, they will ask uh, only one is true, only two is true, both of them are true, none of them is true. Like that, they will ask. Here, the in the previous two news items, we have okay interlinked the education. So, free intermediate education and <coughs> gender education at the graduate level. As in education news, we interlinked. Here, in what way we are interlinking first? What is the first? Telangana is the first state in India 
to make general education compulsory. Second first is Telangana is the first state in India to launch a digital form of insurance certificate. So these are two important issues. Next, rupees 791 crore sanction for Telangana. The high level committee of National Disaster Management Authority on 14 January 2016 sanctioned 791 crore rupees to the drought affected Telangana. So in 2015 itself, the union gone the, the representatives of the union ministry visited Telangana places uh, the affected the drought affected places and they compiled a report based on that report the central government had sanctioned 791 crore rupees the high level committee of national disaster management authority on 14 january 2016 sanctioned 791 crore rupees to the drought affected Telangana. The central team had visited 231 drought hit mandals in the state. While the drought loss was estimated rupees 3000 crore, the state government sought rupees 2000 crore from the center and urged an immediate release of 1500 crore. However, the central finally agreed to offer only 791 crore. Here, the important is how many mandals were declared as a drought in last year. So, 2015 uh, 16, we have to say. So, 231 mandals so all mandals in mahabubunagar were declared as a drought hit areas so they may ask even that one which of the following is the district where all the mandals of that particular district was declared as a drought districts this is a mahabubunagar district so these are the january month news thank you